In this video, you'll create, save, and apply colors and also explore Creative Cloud libraries. Let's start by adding color to the different parts of the pizza logo. Choose View, fit Artboard and Window so that you can see the whole artboard to start. Select the Selection tool and click the triangle to select it. Up here in the Control Panel, you'll see controls for the selected artwork. Lots of these controls can be found in multiple locations throughout the program. The content in this panel changes depending on what's selected. Artwork in Illustrator can have a fill, which can be a solid color, gradient, or pattern, and a stroke or border. Click the fill color and you'll see a series of default colors called swatches that every document starts with. Select a yellow color swatch by clicking on it. You can see a tooltip that gives you a color name here. Press the escape key to hide the swatches. You can easily edit color in Illustrator using a variety of methods. Double click the yellow color swatch you see towards the bottom of the tools panel down here to edit it. In the color picker that opens, drag this slider down just a bit until we get into the little bit more orangish area. That looks pretty good. Come right about here and click to sample a color. Click OK. To save the color you just made so we can easily reuse it later, we can save it in a Creative Cloud library. Open the Libraries panel by choosing Window, Libraries. Creative Cloud libraries are an easy way to create and share stored content such as images, colors, textiles, Adobe stock assets, Creative Cloud market assets, and more between Illustrator projects and in other Adobe desktop apps. You need to be signed in with your Creative Cloud ID. You can always get an ID if you don't have one. If you see an exclamation icon in the CC icon in the Libraries panel, click the Progress Sync icon in the Libraries panel to sync your Creative Cloud account. You can use the default library called My Library, or you can create your own, which is what we'll do. From this menu, choose Create New Library. Name it Side Slice Pizza Logo. Then click Create to make a new library. I'd like to save the color fill of the triangle so we can use it later. With the triangle still selected, click the Add Fill Color button at the bottom of the panel to add the color to this library. Double click the color name and change it to Pizza Cheese. Press Enter or Return. For the rest of the pizza logo artwork, I'd like you to apply your own colors. Be creative. We've got the pepperoni, crust, pepper, and mushroom to color. You can use the method you just learned, editing an existing color, or you can use one of a series of default color libraries that comes with Illustrator. Choose Window, Swatch Libraries all the way down here, Foods, Vegetables, to open a library of color you can use. There are plenty of colors you can choose from in here. After you fill a shape with one of these colors, you can even edit the color like I showed you by double-clicking the fill box down here. If you want to explore other libraries, you can click the arrows down here, or you can choose the Vegetables Library again by clicking the Swatch Libraries menu here. To apply one of these colors, select a shape with the Selection tool. Make sure the Fill box is selected at the bottom of the Tools panel so it changes the fill of the shape, and click to apply a color. When you're all finished applying colors, click the X to close the panel. I have a library of color from a previous project that I'll use to color my artwork. You won't have access to this, so be creative and explore the color libraries like vegetables I just showed you. Now that our artwork is colored, let's finish the olive. Click the olive path and change the fill color to black in the control panel. Press the escape key to hide the colors. With the selection tool, drag across all the shapes to select them. In the control panel, we'll change the stroke weight to two point, effectively making the border a bit thicker. We'll leave the color as black. I think the pizza logo looks pretty good so far now that we've colored our artwork. As you continue to learn Illustrator, you'll see that there's much to explore when it comes to coloring artwork, allowing you to realize your creative vision.